Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Time with Mr. Nguyen. Uh, today we're going to be coding a scratch program that's called Dance Party. So you're going to be able to create a program that has a sprite or a character that can dance with some background music and sound effects. All right. So let's take a look at some features of this program. So features are basically what you see and what you hear for a program that kind of describes uh, what it does. So for this program, we're going to make the sprite dance by animating. We're going to make the sprite move from left to right and then from right to left. And then we're going to add some background uh, soundtrack and some sound effects. All right. So here we go. Let's get on Scratch. Here I am on my Scratch coding platform right here uh, with a blank file. Now if you're working on a uh, scratch file previously you can get you can create a new project by clicking on file new right here and it's going to give you a brand new uh, file to work with uh, so here I am so the first thing that I want to do is I want to add a sprite or a character that's going to be able to dance all right so bottom right right here I'm going to click on choose a sprite and here we go now if you move your mouse over these sprites you can see whether it has some kind of animation or not. Um, now, not every single one of these sprites will be able to have a dancing animation. Okay, like for example, this fortune cookie doesn't have anything at all. This football guy looks like as if he's somewhat dancing slash running. But anyways, um, to make it very clear that you know we can have a sprite that can dance, we're gonna go to the dance category up here we click on that and here we go we have all of these sprites they're able to dance you can tell by hovering on them and you can see their dance movements uh, I like this champ 99 guy so we're gonna click double click on this guy right here and we're gonna be able to use him to dance alright so next up we're gonna click on the cat. We're gonna get rid of the cat because uh, he's not gonna be a part of this dance party program. And then what we wanna do is this sprite right here, he's a little bit big right now. So what we wanna do is we wanna shrink him or make him smaller. So right down here in size, we're going to change his number from 100 into 75 to see, and then type in 75, hit enter. Okay, this is 75 in size that's the same as 75 percent all right and then we're going to add a background right now so background bottom right click on backdrop and i like this concert background right here double click and boom there you go he's on the stage right now he looks pretty happy he looks like he's ready to dance are you ready to dance with him all right so um so first thing first, we're going to take a look at the features here. We're, first feature that we're going to code is the sprite's going to be dancing by animating. All right, so we're going to get him to animate first. So what is animation in sprite? Well, animation is just basically switching costumes. So right now I'm in the code category right here, the code tab. And then if I click, click on costumes, uh, as you can see on the left hand side right here, we have different costumes. Now, I mentioned earlier that costumes are basically uh, different drawings of the same sprite. So if you switch between costumes, it looks like as if he's animating or dancing. All right. Uh, I remember back then when I was younger, I used to doodle in class on the edge of my notebook and it would be like stick figures uh, dancing or uh, jumping over obstacles and I would flip the edge of my notebook. Uh, through the different pages and it would look like as if my stick figure was dancing. So same idea here when you switch different costumes it's going to uh, look like as if it's animating. Okay so we're gonna go back to code right here and we're gonna get him to do that. So we always start out with an events block by clicking on events and we're gonna drag and drop the when green flag click. Now this looks like a hat right or a car it goes in the top because you can't add anything else on top of that um, so we're gonna leave it right here and then we're gonna go to looks and we're gonna grab the next costume block right here in the middle somewhere and to start my program I don't double click on this 
because it's only going to do this part of the code. You know, we got again the good habit of just click on the green flag right here because later on as we uh, learn more with Scratch, we're going to have a lot of one green flag click event blocks in our program, okay? So I'm going to click on the green flag right here. Every time I click on the green flag, it looks like as if he's dancing. The faster I click it, the faster he's going to dance. So far, so good. Uh, let's see here. What's the next feature? The next feature is that we want to make the sprite move from left to right. So to move, what category are we going to go to? Hmm. If you answer motion, it is correct. We're going to click on the motion block. We're going to grab the move 10 steps block, and then we're going to click on the green flag. Every time I click on the green flag, he's an dancing and moving to the right just a little bit. Okay, pretty cool. I'm going to drag and drop him back to the left. Uh, so unfortunately, he only does it once, and we want to make it so that when we click on the green flag, he's going to do it so that way he's going to move all the way from the left to the right. How do you think we're going to be able to get him to do it more than once? Hmm. Well, if you answer control, the repeat block, you are absolutely correct. We're going to drag and drop the repeat block right here. We're going to put next costumes in the repeat 10 block. And we're going to put it back here in the when green flag clicked. Okay? Let's see what happens. Oh, he's going super fast. He's like supersonic. All right. Um, all right, so he's going a little too fast. So to slow him down, what I need to do is in the control, I'm going to grab the wait one second block. And one second, it's going to be a little bit too long. I'll show you what I mean. There are some awkward pauses. We don't want that to happen. We want the dance. We want him to dance with some swag, right? So we're gonna change this up. The wait one second into zero point two seconds, and let's see how this goes. All right, yeah, that looks a lot better. But um, unfor unfortunately, he's still not moving all the way to the right. So we're gonna get him to repeat a higher number by typing in 30 to see how that looks like. He's moving, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving, he's almost there, and he stops. All right, yeah, so pretty good. So far, so good. We've got him to move from left to right. And now the next feature is to get him from, to move from right to left. So we're gonna make him go in the opposite direction. So as you notice, my code right here, I only have one green flag click. And it, the code reads from top to bottom. It does uh, next costume, move 10 steps, and then wait, and it repeats it 30 times. So we're going to add in more to this code sequence at the bottom right here. This is a code sequence, all right? So we're going to, we know that like to get him to dance and move, we need a combination of the next costumes and move 10 steps block. So we're going to drag and drop a repeat 10 again. We know that since he went it took him 30 times to go from left to right. He's going to go 30, he's going to do it 30 times from right to left. So we're going to type in 30 and we're going to get this next costume block right here by going to looks, grab the next costume block, and then we're going to go to blue motion to grab the move 10 steps block. Uh, but wait a minute, move 10 steps makes him move to the right, so if we want him to move the opposite, we're going to do move 10 steps in a negative or a minus number, okay? So I'm going to type in minus or negative 10, because if you don't see a minus or a negative sign in front of your number, it is considered a positive or a plus sign, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? So, and then we need the weight... Uh, wait one second block by going to control, grab the wait one second, and then change it to 0 0.2. And then we're going to move him all the way to the left again. Click on the green flag. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. There's no music. He's moving. He's still moving. All right. He's doing it. Almost there. 
And he does it. Touchdown, champ 99. <laughs> okay, so, so far so good. We got him to move from uh, left to right, right to left, and then now we're going to add some background music, okay? So to add a background music, we need to go to sounds by clicking on this tap right here. And then right now I already have, I'm going to test it out. Whoa, that's loud. All right. Kind of surprised me a little bit there with my headphones on. Um, let's see here. I like the sound, but if you don't like it, you can click on the little speaker icon right here. And you can go to loops. Uh, loops has like sounds that are the longest uh, track. So yeah, it sounds like as if you know it's a music track and it repeats. It's good to, for it to repeat over and over again. Okay, so double click on whatever sound you want. When you're happy, we're going to go back to the code tab and we're going to go to the sound category right here. And we're going to grab the start sound dance celebrate right here. We're going to put underneath right here. Let's play it to see what happens. Hmm. Well, he's moving, but he's definitely there. There's definitely no background music. I mean, that's a problem. Let's see if it's going to do this. Play some background music when this code finishes. Oh, okay, all right. Hey. All right, Ugh. the background music played at the very end. So that's not the right way to do it. We want it the background we want the background music to play along with his dancing. All right? So we're going to separate this. We're going to add another when green flag click. Because when you have two when green flag click, it's going to do it at the same time. And this is, uh, in coding, this is known as parallelism. Okay? And we'll, we'll get more into this later, but think of, when you think of parallelism, just think of railroad tracks. I mean, they always go side by side. Okay? So we're going to click on the events block. We're going to grab a when green flag click. And we definitely don't want this to play one time. We want to repeat over and over again until it finishes dancing. So we're going to go to control. And instead of repeat, uh, getting the repeat 10 block, uh, we're really unsure about how much for it to repeat. We're going to get the forever block right here. Now, the difference is that the forever block is going to play what, do whatever code is inside forever and ever and ever. Okay, we're going to drag and drop. Put the start sound in there. Let's click on play. Oh! That sounded really bad. I, mean, I just blew up in my headphones right here. Um, so the, the issue with that is that the start sound dance celebrate block, okay, it gets repeated over and over again, but it never finishes playing the sound file. So that's why, you know, it sounds really distorted, okay? So the correct way to do this is we want to go back to the sound block. We want to grab the first play sound block, but notice that at the end it says play sound dance celebrate until done. So it's going to play the sound. It's going to wait until it finishes playing the sound file, and then it's going to repeat. So this way there's no issue of the sound repeating before it finishes playing. So I'm going to click on the green flag right now. He's doing it. All right, I'm gonna stop right here because uh, he finished dancing. Uh, so yeah, it looks like the program's working exactly the way how I want it to work, but we gotta add some sound effects. So to add a sound effect, we're gonna go back to sounds. I'm gonna click on the speaker icon. We're gonna go to some effects right here. And I wanna add some finger snap. And I'm going to do it again for footsteps. Okay, you can add any sound you like. You don't have to follow what I'm doing here. Uh, but basically, I go back to code, and I'm going to get the start sound, and I'm going to put it right after he moves. So every time he finishes moving, he's going to have a footstep sound. And then again, I'm going to grab the start sound, and I'm going to put it right here. Scoot this code up just a little bit. Or down just a little bit. There you go. Uh, and then I can switch the sound by clicking on this little drop down menu and click on finger snap. So here we go. Let's click it.
Hey. So uh, as you can hear, you can hear like um, the footstep and the finger snap when he's dancing. So yeah, there you have it. That's that's a dance party that you have right there. Now I challenge you to go ahead and add in a second sprite and make him dance with this guy to have like a dance battle or a dance off. Okay, um, that's it for today for Tech Time with Mr. Nguyen. I'll catch you guys next time. See you later.